Hello. I'd like to say a few words about my Skywatcher 120 millimeter Star Travel short tube 120 millimeter refractor. This is it right here. It has a 120 millimeter aperture, which makes it my most powerful refractor. It only has a 600 millimeter focal length to short tube. Makes it an F5. Uh, comes with a alt azimuth mount. Uh, a two inch focuser. Now, if you if you look on the uh, on the internet, it says that it has a uh, rectifying diagonal, so when everything appears right side up, the one that sent me has a regular 90 degree uh, diagonal, so I don't know. It has uh, two wide angle, long eye relief, super uh, 25 and 10 millimeter eyepieces. It has a, uh, a 6 by 30 millimeter, although this was 6 by 50, 6 by 50 millimeter finder scope. It, um, it's the basic, same basic telescope as the Orion 120 short tube. Um, it's good in that, in that for a refractor, it's almost 5 inch, basically a 5 inch refractor. I can see things with this. I cannot see with my 70 and 80 millimeter refractor or even my 102 millimeter refractor. So I can see uh, uh, Maser 31, Maser 33, Maser 13, uh, of course the Orion Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula, uh, a whole bunch of other things. It's fairly powerful little scope. Now it is a refractor, it's not an, app an, app an apomatic, it's just a refractor. Uh, uh, flint glass and crown glass. So, and since it's such a short tube, F5, it's going to have significant chromatic aberration. Purple halo is around all the bright stuff and even the medium stuff. And that can be corrected the use of a uh, fringe killer. Uh, I I use the SV Boney SV231. Plug that in, and it doesn't have any purple fringe. It's it's pretty nice. I don't like this mount or this tripod. You notice it has two rings. Well, the two rings are screwed onto the mount. I bought a dove bar, and when I when I use it off this mount, I unscrew it, unscrew the two rings, screw them into the dove bar, and then put it on the regular mount. I've uh, this mount is supposed to be good for 11 pounds, and the tripod is supposed to be good for 11 pounds kind of rickety. Uh, even though I don't have it extended, it's still kind of a rickety mount. They sell this in Europe uh, for $250. No, for $550. Same price as here. But in Europe, you can buy the two, two rings and a dub bar for $500. So the mount's only a $50 mount. When I use it, I, I use it I'll show you how I use it, just a minute.
there. I took it off the mount it came with and put it on a, a Celestron CG4 mount. I also added a 2 inch diagonal and 2 inch eyepiece. Now, a Skywatcher makes a nice medium mount, but as I already had the Celestron CG4, I didn't buy the uh, Skywatcher mount. This setup gives you good views, uh, powerful, easy to use. Uh, I, when I use photography, I add a uh, 0.8 field reducer corrector so that the stars around the edge don't look like beams and a, a dedicated camera, usually either a SV Boney 605cc color so cool or a, an SV Boney 705mc a planetary camera. With the field reducer, this F5 becomes an F4, which makes it very fast. I like the telescope, I just don't like the mount, and I don't use the mount, uh, because I don't like the mount. I do like the optical tube. It uh, doesn't take the best pictures I have, but uh, it can do things other, other refractors can't. For instance, if I put a, uh, a dual band filter in here, uh, on my 80 millimeter SV Boney uh, ED503 uh, uh, refractor, it's really hard to focus because it doesn't gather enough light with a dual band filter. Dual band filter is only picking up uh, hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3. And there's not that much of that light. With this, I can easily focus it with the same filter because picking up a lot more light, picking up like 267 times as much light to start with over an 80 millimeter refractor. Uh, I, I tried this on a light mount. Uh, my uh, Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI. Didn't work real well. That, like this, can handle up to 11 pounds. Well, this weighs about a little over 9 pounds about 10 and a half pounds the way it is here, 10.7 pounds with the camera on it, and that's without a uh, finder scope. I don't normally use a finder scope. I plate dolls. And that's so close to 11, it's not good for photography. Not like great right for viewing. So you need a medium mount for it, really. Other than that, uh, it's a good scope good optical tube, uh, plenty of aperture, short so it's fast, and if you have a color correction filter in, it, it'll, look, it'll look nice when you look at things. So, anything else? No, I guess that's all. So until I see you again at the trails.